Is it okay if I call you my Prada babe? I ain't no player, I just got a lot of bait. But let me tell you, I like you a lot, babe. I wanna start at the top and the bottom, babe. Now you want the shoe with the red at the bottom, babe. You know I like when you're right at the top, babe. She wants shit. Get ready, boo. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Tahita's Ghetto Fabulous Kitchen, where tonight I'm preparing some make it last forever ribs and potatoes and onions. Yeah, so with me, I'm gonna try to walk you through this thing so any situation, it'll make it last forever. Okay then. <laughs> All right, guys, this is part one of preparing your ribs. Of course, you have to wash it off. You have to wash them off and then you have to get ready to boil them. You have to boil them for at least 40 to 45 minutes. So the potatoes, right? You see how I left a little bit of peeling on, it's perfectly okay. Some people like to take it all off, some people like to leave it on like me. You know, I don't confess to know everything. Hey y'all, listen. I got the potatoes and everything. I'm working on it, cutting them up real good. I left a little bit of peeling on it because I like it. It's good for the vitamins in case you ain't get no vitamins. Uh, okay then. But yeah, so what you want to do is stay tuned. Listen, I don't measure nothing. I really don't. But I'll tell you what. You know how they say it take a village to raise a child. That's how it is to be a good cook. You learn from everybody. I remember making ribs for the first time. I think I might have been a left grocery store and found the oldest lady. And I was like, honey, how you do? She was like, baby, you do so-and-so. By the time I got home and cooked them ribs, the bones was okay. Yes. So anyway, follow Now listen, me. once you get your, your ribs to a nice rapid boil, this is when you want to add your seasonings. So I love me some bay leaf for ribs. Oh, yes, I do. Add your special seasonings, cayenne pepper. Hey, guys, I want to let you know that it's okay to, while your, your potatoes are boiling, to go ahead and add you a teaspoon of salt uh, to your potatoes. Yeah, so now I'm going to drain the water off and, you know, put them in them with the out. Um, you can bake them without the sauce. You can use some rub on there if you want, like rib rub. Yeah, so this is how you want to do that. Desired consistency, I'm going to add the onions. Hey, y'all just want to share with y'all, these potatoes and the ribs are so amazing. Make it last forever. I hope you enjoyed the way that I show you how to do it. You can always add your special touches with it, whatever you want. I used to be so hungry. I said when I grew up, I was going to feed so many people. You know, I learned how to cook from so many different people with my own ideas. I've been a waitress. I've been a cook. I've been a hostess. I've been a lot. Special shout out to Me the Soul Food in Winston-Salem. <laughs> but I hope y'all enjoy Tahita's Ghetto Family's Kitchen. I'm going to show y'all some stuff because I can cook for real. And enjoy and have a good night. Now, this is what it is right here. Like that right there. Now, when All right, y'all. This is the end. The potatoes, ribs, and I added a little spinach. Mm-hmm. Make it last forever right here. Yes. Thank you for tuning in. Mm-hmm. 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 A little bit of rib on there.